Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between Brat, OK, and Insomnia here on Desert Oasis. First of all, I am trying to load this game and record without preloading the game. It usually takes me about 5 to 10 minutes to preload a game and that's actually eating up into my shoutcasting time. So, I'm going to go ahead and see if the lag still appears. If it does, I will go ahead and start preloading the games once again. I did set the affinity, so hopefully those lag issues of yesterday will stay far far away. Insomnia spawning as the red Terran player over here on the south side of Desert Oasis. Meanwhile, Brat OK spawning as the blue Terran player over here on the north side of Desert Oasis. Both of them putting down a supply depot relatively close to where their starting locations are. Insomnia getting a, that supply depot a little bit earlier than than Brat OK though, so we'll see if that it will really make that much of a difference. Yes, it looks like it in fact will make a little bit of a difference as he's been able to get up to 11 or get now producing some additional units as well coming back over here that yeah, we have a command center already producing 12 so it looks like brad okay's was a little bit more ready for this command center now brad okay gonna go ahead and scout out with that scv making sure there's no proxy barracks anywhere to be found and now moving out with this scv as well putting down a barracks in order to start furthering his tech insomnia getting that barracks as well so i know you can see this i'm also just telling myself so i have an audio cue and it helps me process the information so yeah anyways insomnia getting that supply depot up we should be getting that refinery um, up and running in just a moment one of these scvs should be selected and then start building that refinery unless he tries to go for a double racks which would be a little bit of a surprise as that reactor core would just give the same ability as that double racks brad okay already getting that refinery up and running and we're gonna have insomnia coming in with this scv gonna be doing a little bit of scouting gonna already see that the refinery is in fact up Barracks nearing completion. Still no gas yet. A little surprised by this. What is the strategy in fact going to be? Oh, waiting for that orbital command, but still sitting on a large amount of minerals. No real reason not to build a refinery yet. So Insomnia may be in a very, very hurt situation in, in a moment if he's going to be this far behind in tech. Will not have access to Reapers or Marauders. And Reapers on this particular map it are fairly good and fairly strong as as there's so many cliffs and your cliffs are so exposed off into this position coming back over here i just want to check something all right just doing a little mental cue over there still no gas yet for insomnia so is insomnia waiting to get a, a very very fast expansion that would be a very very risky play taking a look already have the tech lab up and now getting more marines um, marines perhaps trying to also research stim pack sc marines now coming out to try to push away that one scv and down comes a uh, command center so very 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 fast orbital com um, a command center very very fast in indeed in terms of trying to get that economic advantage now finally getting that refinery up so that refinery is in fact going to be late no tech lab insomnia is probably going to have to pay for that but insomnia building a proxy barracks over here by these yellow minerals so we'll see how this really works out for him there's no real add-on for this one particular barracks however we now have marines moving out from the north side and now we have an scv scouting out from the west side we already have an orbital or a command center being built by brat okay as well so both players trying to do a very very heavy um uh, heavy infantry or a heavy expansion and a strategy scv going to be running into a group of marines and that scv is going to be taken down relatively quickly yeah down it goes insomnia's scv down to 21 hit points meanwhile back over here insomnia has in fact captured this El Naga watch tower so both players pretty much doing very very similar strategies indeed taking a look we have a single marine still no tech lab now putting down an additional unit taking a look at the income however insomnia just barely barely ahead of brat okay at this stage but definitely brat okay or in oh now transferring some scvs over so we'll see how this strategy works whether or not this economic advantage is in fact going to be enough but no brat okay already moving out with those reapers and those reapers will in fact be able to deal a fair amount of damage perhaps they're going to come up over here and then jump up here and then start taking down these units and yes in fact they are going to be coming up and doing that particular strategy reapers trying to r run in into this mineral line they're going to start shooting down these scvs scvs getting sh shot down and we'll see how this really works out reapers trying to run behind trying to hit behind that mineral line the one's going to jump back down down. perhaps they're going to perhaps run over here now as there's now marines by this natural expansion reaper's going to go ahead and shoot down that one poor marine marines trying to get into position going to take down a lot of scvs and brad okay playing very very well at this stage in the game going to shoot down some more of these units and all of these scvs pretty much taken down 
so no no units taking a look already 15 to 25 harvesters definitely not looking good reaper down to 11 hit points and this is not looking good is this reaper going to be able to jump back up yeah able to jump back up gonna get shot down by those marines though and down it goes so very very nice harassment by brat okay that is going to have a definite effect on the outcome of the game brat okay sitting on 40 450 army so has a smaller army at this stage but the income difference may be too much for insomnia to compensate taking a look back over here insomnia now lifting off that barracks after training up a single single marine so we have well, insomnia getting more map control in terms of sight we in fact have a couple marauders now moving out so marauders going to be trying to or used to try to counteract those marines and we'll see how that really is going to be used quickly trying um, activating that Zonaga watchtower as we finally have a barracks moving off supply depot now in position as well gonna be able to scout out this particular barracks as it's getting close and insomnia not sure what exactly he wants to do with this barracks and um, he may just get it shot down for no other intents and purposes doing a little bit of scouting with that barracks Meanwhile, we have what a fair number of Mar or half a dozen Marines and Marauders sitting in between the two bases just in case anyone tries to pull anything. Insomnia now sitting on 25 Harvesters compared to Brat OK's 30, 36. Taking a look at the armies, Brat OK with the stronger economy able to just produce more and more units. Marines trying to take down that barracks, barracks slowly, slowly flying away and running away from those Marines. Those Marines will not, in fact, be able to take down that one barracks. So barracks able to escape without any real issue there a barrack down to 840 hit points yeah not in danger of being burned down by any stretch of the imagination insomnia now tr producing a fair number of supply depots wants to macro up and get a lot of infantry taking a look i do not see any any upgrade to factories though so brad okay and insomnia both just going with mass infantry at this stage in the game the factories have already been uh, reduced in cost from 200 to 150 minerals and staying at 100 gas. So a little surprise that Brat OK and Insomnia both still trying to stick with just mass infantry at this stage. Perhaps they're concerned that the other player will in fact just have such a stronger army that they don't want to risk um, spending the minerals towards a factory without getting the real benefits until 10 to 15 or you know like was that five to ten minutes later after after the siege tech is done insomnia now floating around with that one barracks a large amount of marauders unable to really shoot down that barracks either as we have marines and marauders sitting off on this high ramp in order to and enabling them to shoot down on that ramp gonna give them a little bit of time brad okay also setting up a command center over here most likely gonna be floating it off to this top left side an island expansion over there at the what 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock position barracks still once again floating around gonna go ahead and find its way towards a marine that one marine will not be able to take down, take down that barracks but at least that one marine will be able to keep track on keep tabs marauders once again moving out so just a very very i guess this is a slow game right now the game moving at the pace of this one barracks just flying around the map trying to do some scouting army taking a look at the armies we have 107 versus 94 27 50 versus 33 50 taking a look at the harvesters insomnia finally catching back up in terms of getting that economy also has that sensor tower so we'll be able to see any units as they try to come in marauders still moving around the map pretty freely one single marine trying to shoot down that one barracks barracks down to three 730 hit points should be able to escape over some ground taking a look right now we have this siege tech uh, we have a siege tank and siege tech being researched along with the starport starport should probably drop down a reactor core shortly in order to get some medevacs marines and marauders just still doing their runs i guess just running in between these two locations trying to make sure that no units really get by them engineering bay also being upgraded we have a we have a quadruple racks and um, start against uh what quadruple racks with a single starport engineering bay where is that factory i wish i could tell large amounts of marines and marauders sitting down over here and where is that factory oh no that no the fact lifting off the factory as well so the factory now moving out doing some scouting as well so a large number of marines and marauders they should really be teching to ban or to banshees at this stage banshees would just destroy this whole entire marauder army without any second thought really taking a look marines and marauders and tanks now moving out so banshees 
do not look like they're going to be produced anytime soon as more medevacs now being produced. Perhaps Insomnia is going to be going for a, a drop of some sort. Factory now moving off to this top left hand side as those marines are trying to take it down. If that factory is in fact able to get off onto this ground, they may be able to produce enough hellions in order to, to stop it. Stay tuned for part 2 of this replay between Insomnia and Brat OK here on Desert Oasis.